As a frequent user of electric car sharing service BlueSG here, Ms. Jane H. did not expect that a 35-minute drive from Pasa Race to Woodlands would result in a rental charge of more than 700 Singapore dollars 539 US dollars. Due to a glitch in the car sharing application, last Saturday, December 23rd, Ms. Jane, a 29-year-old analyst who declined to give her full name, said that the app showed a rental duration of 36 hours, even though it was actually less than one hour. She was one of several BlueSG users who expressed frustration over ongoing system disruptions to the car-sharing services platform that have been reported since December 19. On December 22, the company apologized on its Facebook page for inconveniences caused by glitches in its systems migration update. It said then that immediate action had been taken to address the problem and identify affected trips that had exceeded 48 hours, for which rental fees would be waived as part of its service recovery process. However, BlueSG users reported that the problems have persisted over the Christmas weekend, and many took to user groups on Facebook and Telegram to air their concerns. Some users took to social media to post screenshots of them being billed more than 1,000 Singapore dollars for over 48 hours, even though they had rented only for short periods. In response to today's queries, Mr. Kelvin Tay, BlueSG's chief executive officer, said that the firm had been experiencing service disruptions arising from recent glitches in its new app. This was due to unexpected technical complexities stemming from the system's migration updates from December 19. 2023, alongside integration challenges with some of our external vendors, including incidents during this festive peak season, he added. Mr. Tay apologized for the frustration and inconvenience that some users faced and added that BlueSG card payments for affected trips would not be processed until they were individually reviewed to ensure no overcharging occurred. On Tuesday, today, spoke to eight BlueSG users who said that the recent service disruptions had caused inconveniences to them such as reserved cars and parking spaces being unavailable, rental overcharging and unresponsive customer service. Mr. Jacob Bong, 29, who works in the entertainment industry, relies on the car-sharing service to shorten the two-hour commute from his Sambuang home to his Sentosa workplace. However, on December 21, he realized that he was overcharged 50 Singapore dollars for his drive, which reflected a total rental of 67 minutes, despite him using the service for only 32 minutes. As this occasionally occurs, Mr. Bong said that he called the customer service hotline to end the rental service but did not reach a resolution over the calls, the messages over the BlueSG live chat and by email. Another user, 25-year-old student Nicholas Chung, arrived at Plaza Singapore Mall to find a car that he had booked was not there. Instead, there were four BlueSG cars parked in the designated parking spaces with two more taking up normal parking lots since other users' reserve parking spots were occupied. None of the cars matched his reservation, so he resorted to taking a ride with ride-hailing service grab after failing to start a Blue SG car for 10 minutes, for which he was charged 34 Singapore dollars. He was given a refund two days later after filling out an incident form. Mr. Shahir Ismail, who has been a BlueSG member for three years, said that service disruptions are not new and most have been previously resolved within a few hours. This disruption, however, is the worst ever and completely changed my opinion of BlueSG as a reliable service, the 28-year-old assistant engineer said. In message groups with other BlueSG users, Mr. Shahir has seen other reports of ghost vehicles on the app where users reserve an available car, but the vehicle is not there.
Because of this disruption, even when the stations have Blue SG vehicles present, it is unavailable on the app. I believe this is because of those users who could not successfully end rentals, Mr. Shahir said. He himself could not park his rental vehicle at his reserve lot on December 19 because he found another vehicle already parked there. He was unable to reach a customer service officer through multiple calls and was automatically redirected to voicemail after 10 minutes. He resolved the problem on his own after another user drove off with a new rental vehicle, allowing him to park. So far, he has been unable to receive compensation for the extra time in parking charges incurred. Mr. Eugene Kaur, 39, a marketing communications consultant, was unable to end his rental due to the breakdown at the charging stations and he could not reach a customer service officer after waiting for more than 35 minutes on the call. He added that waiting times while using Blue SG's hotline had recently increased from 5 to 10 minutes, on average, to more than 30 minutes a call, or not even getting a response. Even though one has to be mentally prepared for disruptions, Mr. Kaur said that these disruptions leave a bad taste in mouths and new Blue SG features such as ending the rental on the app still have teething problems because some reservations continue after being ended on the app. Some Blue SG users said that they were reconsidering their subscription or had already sought to terminate it, whereas some others said that they would still want to continue their subscription if the disruptions were addressed. Mr. Bong, for example, would like to keep using the service since he heavily relies on it. This is even though there were past inconveniences such as his reserve vehicle being different from the one in the lot or finding no car despite his reservation with Blue SG. For Miss Jane, she was very disappointed by the disruption, but she would continue to use Blue SG because she has no choice. Blue SG is the only service offering point-to-point -point car rental at a much lower price point than other apps. She added. Mr. Muhammad Ayman, a 43-year-old security supervisor, said that he had started using Blue SG this year after getting rid of his own car. He also uses other car-sharing services GetGo and DriveLaw. But Blue SG is appealing because it provides point A to B travel and is time-efficient, especially when traveling as a family with three children. However, since he was unable to reserve a car over the long weekend on Blue SG due to a glitch, Mr. Iman used GetGo, which incurred a higher cost with weekend peak charges. We are encouraged to use public transport and be a carless society. How can we be one when the system we want to depend on remains unreliable? How can we plan the day if we can't tell what is working and available? Due to the recent, very disruptive experience and futile attempts to reach Blue SG's customer support, he has asked to terminate his subscription. Other users said that they relied on the advice of other affected users to navigate the disruptions when the customer service hotline was unresponsive. Mr. Chung said that he received close to nothing in support besides standardized template answers from the chatbot that did not apply to his situation, so he had to eventually lock his cart to prevent any extra overcharging. Most of the information given could not be applied to users who were affected and the company's social media was only filled with apologies and no helpful answers. We were basically in the dark with how our situation would improve. Mr. Shahir said that users are still reporting difficulties in starting and ending rentals and there had been little communication from the firm besides a post on Blue SG's Facebook on December 22. As monthly paying customers, on top of the unavailability of vehicles for use and instability of the app, I am more upset at the level of service recovery and assistance Blue SG is providing. He added. While technical difficulties are unexpected, how Blue SG handled this disruption is totally disappointing.
Today is the seventh day since disruption, we still have no update on whether the app has stabilized or what is being done to resolve this problem.